The exceptions I have seen to that rule are the people who do podcasting and they take slices out of their podcast episodes or their interviews and make them into independent YouTube videos. The way to do it correctly is actually if you do want to use YouTube as a podcasting platform, for the algorithm's sake, put your podcast episodes onto a separate channel from your do you see how when people talk about the algorithm, it's more, I'm done with this. Um, I don't want to keep talking about that because what, what this is, is what, what, what this is, is that it it's like, are you making content for the algorithm? Or are you making content for people, right? Cause people want to watch the content. But are you making the content for the algorithm or are you making it for the people? Right? Because he said for the algorithm's sake, right? Not the, you know, not for the sake of the people, right? Not for the, not for you, the viewer, right? Not for the subscriber, for the sake of the AI, right? For, for Skynet, right? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Do it for Skynet. Like, do it for the AI, not for the person that wants to watch the video. I, it's crazy to me. Like, that's a, like, it's so crazy. Like, when you're watching, it's like, there's people who want to watch the video, not the AI. Like, the AI is not watching the video. It's sending the video. It's people that want to watch it, though. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. He... He frustrated. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I want to hear this. Passes most of the power of the YouTube algorithm. You see, the YouTube algorithm, unsuccessful thing forever on the channel. Now, here, hold on here. I get it. There's a factor of time. You got to continue to produce content, and there's the frustration factor. I want to speak directly to that right here. If you're building a channel and you've been doing a similar thing for a long time, and you're getting similar results, meaning the channel is not really growing. You're not having videos even just slightly take off and having those videos grow your audience or videos take off a bit more. If you're seeing the same sorts of results over an extended period of time, it's time to switch things up. Because the mindset of you just gotta keep grinding, the purpose of the grind is to figure out a model that works. I'm gonna say that again because it's super easy to overlook that. The purpose of the grind on YouTube of producing videos over a long period of time is to figure out what your audience wants. And until you're at step four, the transition phase in my YouTube system, you don't have a model yet. If you have no- Wait, what? Hold on, wait a minute, wait, what, what was that? Hold on. At step four, the transition phase in my YouTube system, you don't- Oh, your product. Okay. Don't have a model yet. If you have no idea what I just talked about, I'm gonna put a card for you up here. <laughs> so the whole process of the grind up to that transition is understanding what your audience wants so you have a model that you can continue to grow over time. So what I'm gonna recommend if you find yourself in this situation where you're just doing the same stuff and you're getting the same results is to pick one thing at a time and pivot regularly. And I'm not just gonna leave it at that either. There are three areas that... and Interesting, right? Because... When you do upload a video, it just, you know, it, it doesn't get the same kind of, you know, reaction that your streams do when, when, when you, when you kind of follow that model, because if you start off a, a channel with streams that you can upload for the algorithm to, you know, to do what it does, but people really kind of tune in for you. It almost sounds like you're better off, you know, creating a fan base of people to tune in for you as a creator and not what you're talking about, because it doesn't matter what you're talking about, because the people are always going to show up for you, the, the creator. And I've seen that on YouTube in different places, in different sectors, talking about different things. It doesn't matter what the person's actually talking about. The people just show up for the person. It could be an upload. It could be a live stream. The people are there for the person. It would be much better, or how they say on YouTube, more better, <laughs> to focus on your community and making content and interacting with your people and making sure that you're a person that people can interact with. Because when you're doing a live stream, you're going to have the same viewers. You're going to get the same viewers that you do when you get an upload. 
Because when you make content for the algorithm, the algorithm is going to give you what it feels like you need. But the people are always going to be there for you whenever you do something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. What do I know? Uh -huh. What do I know? I don't have a system to sell you. Again, I don't have a I don't have a system to sell you to convince you about you know keeping your keeping into the algorithm. I'm just a guy. Pivot regularly, and I'm not just going to leave it at that either. There are three areas that nine times out of ten, almost ten times out of ten, if you pivot something in one of these areas, you'll start to see different results. The first and perhaps the most obvious is the topic of your videos or your channel. If this topic is just not taking the title. That's the title. You don't care about a lot. It's time to move on. The second less obvious is your approach to delivering the content. What's the content? What's the format of the video? Like I said, it's always going to be the title, the description, the tags, the thumbnail, and the content. It's always going to be something to that fact, right? If you... When it comes to watching any type of these videos, right? Any of these people that you see. If you understand that whatever issue that you think you have with your channel. I think YouTube is still a relatively good platform. It's some content creators who need to be dealt with. I mean, it is still a relatively good platform. Yeah, I'm not going. Yeah, we're not going. We're not saying that YouTube is the devil, right? It's not the devil. It's close. Not really. But it's not the devil. Like, it's still a good platform, but the platform has issues. And these issues are only getting worse every year. They're not getting better. Okay? There's nothing nothing's on the platform that they're doing is really getting better to 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 improve the experience. Right? The experience is only getting worse every year. So so live streaming is the way. Sly, look, how many times are you gonna hear me say this shit on my channel? Okay? How many times are you going to hear me say this shit on my channel? Okay. The key is not to focus on the algorithm. The key is to focus on the people. Because when the people get behind the creator, it's fuck what the algorithm wants to do. It's what the people want. It's the people that push the creator that can make the creator go to where they need to go, not the algorithm. If you focus on the algorithm, the algorithm is going to send you what you want, what it thinks you want, and it's going to give you what it thinks you need. But if you give the people what they want, they're going to take you to where you want to go. Message. It's always going to be the live stream. It's always going to be the people. What's going on, Scoop? It's always the people. Fuck what this guy talking about, respectfully. It's always the people. Any content creator you see on the platform, it's not the algorithm. It's the people. Mr. Beast got 50 million subs. It don't matter what he does. It's going to get a million views. But guess what it is with Mr. Beast? It's more about the people than the algorithm. It ain't the algorithm that makes people say Mr. B should buy a fucking movie studio. He should make movies for Netflix. That's not the AI telling people that. <clears throat> That's people. It's not the computer. It's people. Okay, I'll I'll mention I'll mention old boy one more time on the channel, right? You look at a guy like Kevin Samuels. He uploads and he live streams. The uploads gets a hundred thousand views. Live streams gets a hundred thousand views. And Pat Flynn is more popular than Kevin Samuels. H three H three gets thousands of views on a podcast. H three H three. Gets thousands of views on a live stream. What are we talking about? It's the people. If you focus on the AI, like the creative coaches want you to do, you'll be stuck in the system being the bitch of the AI. But if you focus on the people that watch you, that tap in with you, you'll go places.